Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Ghana DJ Awards introduces new category called the Lockdown DJ Award to honor lockdown DJs. The category will recognize DJs who exceptionally entertained music fans during the COVID-19 lockdown. Ghana DJ Awards recognizes DJs, musicians across over 20 categories. And now joining us via Zoom to talk about this new category is a DJ from Ghana, DJ Datsun. Hi, JP Datsun. Hi, how are you doing, Elsie? Fine, thank you. Thank you for joining. Now, what, what do you think this um, award would do to um, um, the entertainment industry, basically? Well, I think it's going to motivate a lot of DJs to be creative, regardless of their circumstances. Because throughout the lockdowns, one main excuse for DJs was that, hey, we don't have shows, you know, we can go and play out there and make some money. But this award is going to show that you don't need to go out there and play shows to be a DJ. There are different ways to be creative as a DJ. You know, you can be creative online, you can work on music, you can release content, you can create your own DJ shows as well. So it's definitely going to inspire a lot of DJs. I don't know about the name Lockdown DJ, but I guess we have to take it mm. as it comes. All right, so um, what's up, JP? So for me, right, I'd just like to know about, do, do you think it, there has to be a pandemic or, or COVID-19 before DJs are being acknowledged, especially in our award ceremonies? Because right now they're making it look like, okay, because they entertained us. But left to me, right, I've been looking up to DJs for a long time because um, even if I want to download songs that I like, I go to a DJ playlist to download or even buy it on iTunes or whatever, or Play Store gotcha. or wherever. But right now, do you think that there has to be a pandemic before DJs are being recognized in award ceremonies? What's your take on that? Well, there doesn't have to be a pandemic for DJs to recognize. But the interesting thing is that this Ghana DJ Award is an award show for DJs, mm. you know, so you're looking at, it's just, it's a being show. So it's just a category that has been created for the lockdown period, you know, and that's what's happening because um, DJs aren't really recognized that much in other award categories. So yeah. I'm proud of the Ghana DJ Awards for putting up this initiative and awarding DJs regardless of what's going on. All right, so, but do you think that this would actually impact the award ceremonies where there will be a category for DJs and after this is done, this will set a precedence for them to actually recognize DJs that are putting in the work? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because there's some DJs that put in extra, extra work during the lockdown period. They went over and beyond. There were DJs that had weekly shows on Instagram and other platforms, you know, but... Uh, yeah, DJs that release some videos, it pushes the creativity bar to the next level. So definitely it is an inspiration for DJs and it motivates them to let them know that they don't need to wait for a lockdown, you know, a pandemic to be creative in their field. All right. I just wanted to ask, though, what is the culture of culture like in Ghana for DJs. A good example for me in terms of taking DJs very seriously in South Africa, they just don't get a bunch of songs and make a playlist. They're quite involved in the songs and sometimes they even have their own sound or whatever. So I wanted to ask though, I know that every, every section needs to be appreciated, but I wanted your insights on the level of intensity that the DJs function in in Ghana. What, what's your thoughts on that? Well, it's, um, it's climbing up. You know, the artists are always the stars of the show, regardless of, you know, what's going on. But um, the DJs are also pushing. The DJs that have released singles that have climbed up to number one on the charts. You know, the DJs that have released music videos that are uncomparable, you know, to other artists as well. So it is a push and it is a plus. And for the DJ scene as well, you know, the nightlife scene in Ghana is bubbling. If he has been to Ghana and he knows what I'm talking about, Friday night, Saturday nights, weekend, all day round, DJs are always busy. You know, they may not be as popular as artists, but there's definitely room for it. And through this award scheme, 
and um, other releases as well. DJs are break, coming up into a landline. Okay, so, before we let you go quickly, I would like you to tell us the five um, top songs in Ghana right now. I mean, you're a DJ, so what are the top five songs um, people are jamming to in Ghana right well, now? You're going to put me on a spot right there, because <laughs> there are some artists that are my friends, so I, I have to pass here. But two songs that are raining in Ghana right now, Stoneboy, Putu, and Shatawales already. Already was released earlier, but after the music video with Beyonce, it's just shut up into the limelight. Mm -hmm. There's another song that is bubbling up in Ghana, Tania, um, Jolie, that's been played all over the place. Um, who else? Darko Vibes. Mm. Darko Vibes and um, Kim Promise also have a song in a song, and that's also bubbling as well. And there's also Quick Afro with Fiesta, which is gradually climbing up the charts. All right, so Beyonce's birthday was a few weeks ago or like a week ago. And um, Shatawali and When the Shea plan to release a song to celebrate her birthday. What's your take on that? Do you think that um, a song should actually be done in honor of um, the Queen Bee for her birthday based on the fact that she had a collaboration with Shatawali? Well, um, you know, as, as you know, we're the entertainment industry. And it is really entertaining if artists stay on top of the social conversations. Mm. So it's um, it's an interesting idea, you know. I know I don't know how Beyonce is going to feel about it, but I, <laughs> I think it's really interesting. And Shatawale really plays well when it comes to social commentary, mm. you know. Mm. So I think it's a, it's a big move on her side. Whether the song climbs up to the charts or not is definitely going to make waves. And it's going to pop up in conversations as it's popped up on Tea Times conversation today as well. Mm, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, um, JP Datsin, for joining us on Tea Time. You're welcome. You're okay. Welcome. Tea Time continues. Thank you guys for having me on the show as well. You're welcome. Next tea time, time I'm going to be in Nigeria. I'm going to be with you. <laughs> yes, we'll definitely That'll look forward nice. to having you in the yeah. studio.